Hi friend! In this video I'm going to walk you through the most detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to remove DRM protection from your Kobo purchased books. In my previous video I covered how to remove DRM from Amazon books, so I guess it's only fair that I do the same for Kobo. After making multiple DRM related videos and learning from those experiences and your comments, I've worked hard to make this tutorial as easy as possible. So even if you're not tech savvy, you should be able to follow along without any issues. The method I will be showing you requires the Kobo desktop app, which means that it works on both Windows and Mac machines. For this method, you also don't need to have a Kobo e-reader, so anyone with Kobo account and purchase books can follow along. I've also tested this extensively with multiple purchases and everything worked perfectly. Important information. Before we dive into the steps, there are a few important things you need to know to increase your chances of successfully removing DRM. First, pay close attention to file names, version numbers, and everything I show on the screen. I've seen a lot of comments from people who skipped parts of the video and then run into issues, so take your time, pause the video if needed, and follow each step carefully. If you do that, I'm confident you will get it to work. Second, I will be asking you to install some plugins during this process. Over time, their versions may change. So if that happens, don't worry, I will keep the latest download links in the video description, so always check there for updates. Lastly, if there are any troubleshooting steps that come up after this video is released, I will pin a comment below with the most useful fixes you can try. And if the method changes completely, I will make a new video to cover it. I've spent quite a few hours researching and testing this, so if this video helps you, please hit the like button and leave a comment letting us know this worked. Now that we've covered the important details, let's remove DRM from your purchased books. Step one is to download and install Calibre. First, download the latest version of Calibre. You can find the installation file on the Calibre website, and I've included all necessary links in the description. I'm assuming your browser saves downloads to the downloads folder, so once it's finished, open the installer and go through the setup. There's nothing really special you need to change during installation, so I won't go over, over that in detail. Step two is to download and install the plugins. Next, you need to download two plugins and install them into Calibre. The plugins are called DDRM plugin and Obok plugin. The good news is that both plugins come in one zipped file, so you don't have to download them separately. The current version I recommend is the DDRM beta version 10.0.9, which is a release candidate RC1 for version 10.1.0. To download it, go to the link in the description, expand the assets section, and click on DDRM underscore tools underscore 10.0.9.zip. Once the download is complete, this part is really important. You need to unzip the original file first. A lot of people make the mistake of pointing to the original zip file as the plugin, which causes an error like the one on the screen right now. To avoid this, simply unzip the file first. Inside, you will find two separate plugin files ddrm underscore plugin dot zip and obok underscore plugin dot zip. Now that we have the plugins, let's install them into Calibre. Open Calibre and go to Preferences. Under the Advanced section, click Plugins. Select Load Plugin from File and navigate to ddrm underscore plugin dot zip. Click Open. You will see a security warning, which is perfectly normal. Click Yes to proceed. Click OK, but don't restart Calibre just yet. Repeat the process for obok underscore plugin dot zip. Click yes on the warning again. Now restart Calibre. You can either close and reopen it or use the restart option. Once Calibre restarts, let's make sure the plugins are installed correctly. Go back to Preferences, Plugins. Check the box that says Show only user installed plugins. Expand the list and you should see both DDRM and obok plugins installed. Great job, you're halfway there. <laughs> Step three is to install and set up Kobo Desktop. Next, you will need to install the latest version of the Kobo Desktop app on your Windows or Mac. I've provided a link in the description to an official Kobo guide on how to install it. I won't walk you through the installation since the default settings are perfectly fine. Once you open Kobo Desktop for the first time, you will notice it behaves a bit like a web browser, which technically it is. Now let's log into your Kobo account. Click the sign in button at the top right corner, 
use your Kobo credentials or sign in with Google or Facebook account. Once logged in, go to My Books and check that your purchased books are listed there. If they're there, great. Now let's download them. Click the download icon on a book cover to download it locally. If you want to download multiple books at once, hold down Shift, select the books and click the download button. Once you've downloaded your books, completely close Kobo Desktop. This step is very important. Make sure it's fully closed before moving on. Step four is to convert your books in Calibre. Now open Calibre and you should see a new button in the top menu called Obog DDRM. If you don't see it, do this. Go to Preferences and Toolbars and Menus. Select the main toolbar, find Obog DDRM in the available actions list. Use the arrow to move it to the current actions list. Apply the changes and close the menu. Now the Obog DDRM button should appear. Click on it and you will see a list of all the Kobo books you've downloaded. This list will also tell you whether a book has a DRM or not. If you want to remove DRM from all books, again hold Shift, select all of them and hit OK. If you only need to remove DRM from specific books, just select those before clicking OK. The plugin will now do its magic and once it's finished, you will see a summary of the process. Your books will then appear in the Calibre library without DRM. Well done. If you want to convert your books into EPUBs or PDFs, you can select the book you want, right click on it and choose Convert and then Convert individually. In the conversion settings, you can customize many things, but I leave most of the options default. The only thing I change is the output format. I set it to PDF, but you can change it to whatever format you want. Hit OK, and once the job is done, you will see that the book now has two formats available. Now that your books are DRM free, you have plenty of options. You can move multiple books to a folder, convert them in bulk, check where they are stored in Calibre's directory, and much, much more. That's it, you're all set. Your Kobo books are now DRM free and you can read them however you like. <laughs> Troubleshooting issues. Now, I personally haven't encountered any issues during this process, but if you do, here are a few things to check. Firstly, make sure you're using the latest version of Calibre. If not, update it and try again. Also, check that you're using the correct version of the DDRM plugin, which should be version 10.0.9. If this version doesn't work, you can try installing an alpha version of the DDRM plugin. This is a slightly different version that some people have had better success with. I will leave a link in the description so you can give it a shot. Also, make sure Kobo Desktop is completely closed before converting books in Calibre. The thing is that if it's running in the background, it may cause some issues. Hey, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please give it a like, drop a comment to let me and others know that it worked. And don't forget to subscribe if you're into eing devices like Kindle, Kobo, Remarkable, Books, and everything related to eing technology. And if you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee or even become a YouTube member like the awesome people right here. I'm also a landscape photographer, so if you'd like some high-res wallpapers of some of my shots, plus I even create a painting effect for some of them, which you can see on the screen right now, I'll drop a link to my digital collection in the description. I appreciate your support. But that's not all. If you want to explore alternative book providers beyond Amazon and Kobo, you can check out this video right here. And if you're looking to remove DRM from Amazon books, this video should be helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.